Yo, what's happening out there, everyone? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with another GTA 5 Online video. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the brand new Gift Cards to Friends workaround, all right? It's a workaround from the old bunker glitch. Let's get into it right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 Online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 Online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so now that we're getting into this video, first of all, big shout out to the founders, GTA boss for the majority of this glitch when it first got released. Lost Glitches, Vladdy Rad with the help for the new workaround, and Mod Beep uh, for actually coming up with the second workaround for this glitch, you know, in the very beginning. So shout out to all of you guys. Now, what you're gonna need for this glitch is obviously you need one friend. You need your bunker and the MOC. Now your MOC, you wanna have the personal vehicle storage and you wanna go ahead and throw in an RH8, okay? So the personal vehicle storage and just have an RH8. Some people say it's better to have a smaller vehicle so you can create more lag by parking close to the MOC. You don't really need to do that. You can hit it exactly how you hit it before. Just the timing has changed just a little bit, but it's not difficult. And uh, obviously you need a car from your friend that your friend's gonna be giving you. Now, on Xbox, Obviously, if you guys wanted to try this out, I have not tested it on Xbox yet, but if the timing is kind of difficult on PlayStation, I can only imagine what the timing would be like on Xbox. So whenever we're using a recent activity on PlayStation, Xbox needs to use a friend in another targeting mode. So that is going to complicate things because we don't know exactly when those alerts are coming in on Xbox. They're very sporadic. So if you want to go ahead and try this on Xbox, let me know your results. But I have only tested this on PlayStation once you are in your bunker so the main perspective here is the person receiving the car the person in the top right will be the the helper okay the person giving the car so as the receiver i'm going to go ahead and go into my bunker grab my car from my moc which is this rh8 and i'm going to invite my friend shout out to Densky for helping me make this video here now once he spawns in there i'm going to go ahead and get my recent activity ready so i'm going to go ahead and find one of these online recent activities there's a few of them, you know, if you collected a bounty, you purchased a vehicle, anything like that. So you're gonna see right here on the right, when I go to my recent activities, uh, Roll Easy purchased a new vehicle. You can go ahead and use that one. You need one that says Star GT Online. Go ahead and hover over Star GT Online and then double tap the PS button, okay? So now that we're back, I'm gonna go ahead and position my car like this. I'm the driver, he is in the passenger seat. Tell the passenger to press start. You go ahead and hit right D-pad, double tap the, uh, the PS button, Star GT Online, okay? You sit on this alert. Now, you wanted your friend to be on the pause menu because as the friend, you can actually tell what's gonna happen. And look, you can see that we spawned in the MOC. So your friend would tell you that, you back off the menu, you both get in the car and you both drive back out. Okay, so there's no guessing in the dark here. Your friend, just by looking at the map, can actually tell you exactly what's happening, whether you hit it or not. The three scenarios, obviously the first one, you hit it perfectly. Second one, What's gonna happen is you go into the MOC like you saw me do right there. That means I was too late to double tap the PS button. Okay, if you're too early, you're just gonna be stuck in the bunker. So we're gonna try this again. He has the pause menu up. I'm gonna hit right D-pad, double tap the PS button, start detail online, sit on the alert. Now, what he should see is no icon on the map. So you see on the top right, the friend, if the friend sees nobody's icon at all on the mini map or just on the map in general, then that means that we have most likely hit it you want your friend to focus his attention over at the docks. Now at the docks, eventually, it takes about a minute maybe, at the docks you will see the icon pop up. Sometimes it'll just show him, sometimes it'll actually show both of you guys. You'll see the icon with a little number two on it. Okay, so that timing can be tricky, but like I said, there's no guessing in the dark, in the dark anymore. The passenger can actually tell you everything you need to know just by looking at the map, all right? That is much, much easier. On Xbox, that targeting mode is gonna be really, really tricky. I'll give it a few shots, but yeah, no promises for Xbox. This glitch has gotten a lot tighter to hit. The last one was already hard on Xbox. I can only imagine now. So, see the icon popped up for the friend. Now my friend's gonna tell me, you can go ahead and back off the menu. I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause and go to the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. Now, if you hit a black screen like me every time at that point, you just wanna do a recent Star GT Online, decline the alert. Now. What just happened right there, you need to start up the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack, then you can open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out. 
That's what I just did right there. So now I have spawned over at the docks. My friend is actually still on an infinite black loading screen. At this point, this is how you get your friend off of the infinite black loading screen. It's a little bit of a different method. Open up your interaction menu, go to MOC, and spam on empty cab and empty trailer. Just keep going back and forth, empty cab, empty trailer. And you saw that in the top right, you'll see yourself falling eventually. Okay, if you see yourself falling, chances are it already worked. You can tell your friend to stop spamming because you will shortly spawn back in the bunker. So you see that? The friend has spawned back in the bunker. As the duper, or you know, the person receiving the car, you're good to go. So, person receiving the car, get a street car, and you're going to be going to a certain location. Person giving the car, you go ahead and walk out of their bunker, and you turn around and walk back into your bunker. And you're going to go into your MOC and send your friend an invite. All right? So, car receiver on the main screen, get a street car, and this is the location you want to go to. This steering wheel icon, it's, over, it's literally right in front of Arcadius. So, you want to go over here, and you need your friend in the top right to send you an invite to his MOC. Okay? So once you get the invite to the MOC, here we go. You got the invite. What you need to do is open up your phone, get ready to accept the invite, and immediately spam right D-pad. Okay? Immediately spam right D-pad. And you see right now, I'm spamming it. Keep spamming. Do not stop and spam as fast as you can. Okay? You would think this wouldn't have anything to do with it, but I promise you, you need to keep spamming this entire time until you spawn in the bunker. Now, I've heard people saying that you can spawn on the street and actually get the vehicle okay that way but this is what kept happening to us successfully keep spamming until you spawn in the bunker do not stop spamming so now i've spawned in the bunker i can stop spamming and you see i have a loading icon in the bottom right okay that's the trickiest part of this glitch so you need a fresh session and you need to keep spamming that entire time so as the duper or as the receiver go ahead and leave your bunker now and you want your friend with the car that you want to receive right outside the bunker okay so you're gonna see Densky right here. He has the vehicle that he's giving me so that I can actually get this sucked into my MOC. So he's giving me this car right here on Benny's. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. And now you play the waiting game, all right? You can drive around, you can just stand still, you can do whatever you want, but eventually, and I would say this takes probably a minute to two minutes sometimes. It has taken a while uh, before, but I'm just gonna fast forward a bit here and eventually you'll just hit a black screen and you'll get sucked into the MOC, okay? So your friend is pretty much done at this point. Uh, once you get the car sucked in your MOC, if anything, you want your friend to go ahead and start up a new session so you guys can actually, you know, keep doing this and getting more cars and actually make it efficient and go as quick as possible. So at this point, I got sucked into my own MOC and I have the vehicle right here. All right. That's the vehicle that he just gave me. So I can go ahead and actually from here start up a job. Okay. What you want to go ahead and do is start up a job because that loading circle is still there. That's not going away. Okay. So. If you actually try to get into the car like I actually do right here, it kicks you right out. So you need to kind of unglitch yourself. You're still kind of glitched at the very end. So you can start up a Titan of a job right here. What I'm actually going to end up doing is just running outside the bunker. Either way, once you back out of a Titan of a job, you will be spawning over, uh, you know, outside the bunker right there on the uh, patch of grass, depending on where you guys are. I definitely recommend having farmhouse bunker. The majority of glitchers have it, especially those of us that did the gift cards to friends over in the bunker a lot. Pretty much almost everybody has farmhouse and it's really good if you're merging bunkers for like, you know, getting modded MOCs and stuff. So now that I've spawned outside, I can go ahead and start up a job. Like I said, you can go ahead and do this from the MOC if you want to. So start up a Titan of a job and we're just gonna go into the loading screen. And if you look, it's actually pretty funny. I've never seen this many people in Titan of a job. <laughs> I don't know if these are glitchers or what, but a lot of people are playing a Titan of a job right now. And once you do that, you back out and you'll see that you have no loading circle in the bottom right anymore. That's a good sign that you've been unglitched. Open up your interaction menu, go to the MOC uh, you know, section of the menu and request personal vehicle from the MOC. And this is where you get the confirmation that the car that your friend you know, gave you is actually there. And for those of you that wonder, we're not literally just giving out our cars, you know, and not getting anything like this is a duplication glitch. OK, you're duping your cars for your friends. Just dupe cars for your friends doesn't sound as catchy as give cars to friends. All right. GC2F is just much more catchy. So we call it that. But this is a duplication glitch nonetheless. All right. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. That's pretty much it. I don't have much more to say about this other than please follow the directions perfectly. New invite only session and spam right D-pad like your life depends on it. All right. 
Uh, that's gonna be it for me, guys. My name's Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.